I'll give a, a copy of the first surah of the Quran that was written in Arabic and in English, which was taken to the moon. Wasn't there a moment during that diplomatic row where some uh, astronaut in space speaks Arabic? Yes. <laughs> yes, I, when I went to, to, uh, to the Gulf to, to uh, make my lectures, I, I, I told them about the fact that I selected the landing sites on the moon and, and based on what. And then I also gave them, I, I gave a, a copy of the first surah of the Quran that was written in Arabic and in English, which was taken to the moon and returned to me. And I also gave, I had a recording of the greeting from Apollo 15 mission that was said by my friend, uh, astronaut uh, Alfred Warden, who said, Marhaban ahl al-ard min endeavor ilaykum salam. Who endeavor was the, uh, the name of his uh, spacecraft and he said hello earth greetings from endeavor so i i actually played that recording in arabic in my lectures and showed them the copy of the Quran, the page of the quran that went and and then i added some of the names of the great arab and muslim uh, uh, astronomers who who worked on the that were decorated by naming them on the surface of the moon and so on so Al Bayrouni, Al Battani, Al Batigni, all kinds of fabulous Al Khwarizmi, Arab scientists that have names on the moon because mm -hmm. they were recognized by, by Western uh, scientists as, as great men.